Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and I've been getting uh, quite a lot of questions concerning the Microsoft Edge browser so I thought I'd make a video explaining a little bit where we are at right now and what's happening in terms of uh, when is it going to be officially a browser that's you know bundled with Windows so for those that of course use the browser uh, Microsoft Edge you know that that browser is now going to be eventually gone as they um, rewrite the new Edge browser with the Chromium engine which is the same engine used by Google Chrome once again I want to state a lot of you have a, um, are a, wrong, a wrong way of thinking because a lot of you are saying well you know oh they're using Google Chrome no Chromium is a open source project that means anybody can use it and transform Chromium into whatever they want. So uh, that's the first thing. It's not Google Chrome. It's just the engine. And you can build around it. You can build different things around it. And you can shut off different things that you don't want. So for example, Microsoft, right? we know right now, is going to probably shut off a lot of Google services within the Chromium engine and replacing them probably with you know Microsoft related uh, engines and, and stuff that they want to use so of course that means that the um, Chromium browser will be a different experience than Google Chrome will offer that's the first thing a lot of people are saying well you know why should I use Edge Chromium if uh, I'm using Google Chrome anyway so I don't see the uh, difference there will be a big difference there will be a difference in what the services are and the way that you're being tracked a lot of the Google tracking won't work Plus, uh, Microsoft has promised to have a lot more control or give you more control over the tracking that's going on on the web because, you know, there's a lot of tracking going on on the web, probably too much. So there will be a lot of tracking blockers built within the Edge Chromium browser. Uh, so this is going to be interesting to change the experience and probably help you you know mitigate the uh, the uh, privacy problem if we want when you're browsing the web what is going to happen so we started seeing in the latest build for those that are insiders uh, some of you are seeing a um, a replacement where Microsoft Edge isn't kind of pushed to the forefront anymore you're not seeing it anywhere this is how the transition is going to happen. So that means that uh, at the time that Edge Chromium will become a browser, the official browser in Windows, the old Edge will still be there, but it will be only in you know, the program lists, hidden, not really f easy to find. You know, Just like Internet Explorer was kind of pushed back when Edge came out. It was still there, but it's uh, you know something that was not visible because they wanted to push the Microsoft Edge browser. What we know is by the end of the year, there should be a Edge Chromium bundled with Windows 10. Maybe that would happen at the same time as 19H2 release in September. I wouldn't be surprised that when that comes out, it's going to push at the same time the new Edge Chromium browser experience. That also means that the old Edge will still be there, but it won't be harder to find. And possibly at some point, it's going to be like um, Internet Explorer. You know, a lot of you are still asking me, why is Internet Explorer still um, bundled or still available? Because in the enterprise, there's a lot of services that run and were built around it. So that's why it needs to stay there there's no choice but if you install Windows 10 you'll notice that it's not installed you have to go into your uh, control panel and go into the um, you know programs and features and add a feature or new feature in Windows that's where you get Internet Explorer now because it's not by default installed in your PC for the most part in the latest versions of Windows 10 Edge is eventually going to be in the same boat. It's still going to exist in some form because some uh, device somewhere or some uh, service will 
needed because it was built around it. But it will not be visible. You'll have Edge Chromium instead. Plus, there's a new experience in Edge Chromium that's been uh, activated in the Canary version, which is Internet Explorer mode, which means that it uh, behaves like Internet Explorer. If you need that experience, it will be within Edge Chromium av availability, and Edge Chromium is now there. So it's this kind of be going to be interesting. But by the end of the year, Edge Chromium will be the official browser bundled within Windows. And uh, the old edge will be kind of hidden from view so that you don't click on it. So that's where we are at. What you see here is the latest developer one, um, the developer version of Edge Chromium. It works great. It is a really an amazing experience, actually, that we have. And uh, that's pretty much what we know right now for Microsoft Edge uh, in the future of uh, Edge Chromium. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.